the truth. Well, thank you very much, uh, President Duda, and for your uh, really gracious uh, hospitality. We've had a wonderful stay. It's been quick, but the people of Poland have been so fantastic. And as you know, uh, Polish Americans came out in droves. They voted in the last election, and, and I was very happy with that result. So I just want to thank you, and I want to thank them. It's a true honor to be here in Poland. It's a majestic nation. It really is. It's a uh, spectacular place, some of the most beautiful sights that we just saw coming over, really very inspirational. You're rich in history, and you have absolutely an unbreakable spirit. That's something we've learned for over the course of many years. Uh, the President and I concluded a productive meeting in which we reaffirmed our enduring bonds of friendship and have united our citizens for a long time, yeah, but we've never been closer to Poland, I think, than we are right now. Poland is not only a great friend, but a truly important ally and a partner with respect to our military. We've had great cooperations uh, with Poland. Uh, we've fought shoulder to shoulder uh, in many different encounters. Particularly grateful for the active role Poland has taken in helping to defeat ISIS, where we've made tremendous strides, tremendous gains, which you'll be hearing about over the next period of time, uh, and other terrorist organizations. Poland's been right there with us by training Iraqi special forces and flying reconnaissance missions. And just about any time we requested, they were there. Brave Polish soldiers have fought and worked side by side with Americans in Iraq and Afghanistan, and on behalf of all Americans, I want to salute you. I want to thank you. Very, very special people. I also want to thank the Polish people for their kindness to more than 5,000 American troops that are stationed in your country. Our strong alliance with Poland and NATO remains critical to deterring conflict and ensuring that war between great powers never again ravages Europe and that the world will be a safer and better place. America is committed to maintaining peace and security in Central and Eastern Europe. We're working with Poland in response to Russia's actions and destabilizing behavior. And we're grateful for the example Poland has set for every member of the NATO alliance by being one of the few nations that actually meets its financial obligations. As you know, I've been pretty hard on some of the members of NATO for not, and the money is pouring in, I can tell you. Uh, I was criticized, Mr. President, but I can also say that the people at NATO aren't criticizing me. They're very happy. The money has been pouring in in the last year, far greater than it ever would have been. It is past time for all countries and all countries in the NATO alliance to get going and to get up to their obligations. But I can say that Poland has been right there, and you will even exceed that number, and I appreciate that very much, and so do a lot of other countries. During our meeting, I congratulated President Duda on Poland's recent election to the United Nations Security Council. We also discussed our mutual commitment to safeguarding the values at the heart of our alliance, freedom, sovereignty, and the rule of law. Poland joins the Security Council at a very critical time. It's a critical time, frankly, for the world, because you see what's going on. Not only must we secure our nations from the threat of terrorism, but we must also confront the threat from North Korea. And that's what it is. It's a threat. And we will confront it very strongly. President Duda and I call on all nations to confront this global threat and publicly demonstrate to North Korea that there are consequences for their very, very bad behavior. We also discussed the ongoing humanitarian catastrophe in Syria and the need to defeat ISIS and other terrorist groups where they control territory and populations. We have fought very hard and very powerfully against ISIS since I've been president, and we've made tremendous gains, far greater than has ever been made with respect to that group. 
while the cities of Raqqa and Mosul will soon be liberated from these murderers, criminals, and butchers. We recognize that Syria requires a political solution that does not advance Iran's destructive agenda and does not allow terrorist organizations to return. We also reaffirm that any nation that values human life can never tolerate the use of chemical weapons, and we won't tolerate it either. Finally, we agreed to work to expand commerce between our countries. We strongly support the Three Seas Initiative, and America stands ready to help Poland and other European nations diversify their energy supplies so that you can never be held hostage to a single supplier, or as we sometimes call it, a monopoly. I'm pleased to report that the first shipment of American liquefied natural gas arrived in Poland last month, and there'll be many more coming. Maybe we can get your price up a little bit, but that's okay. He's a tough negotiator. We look forward to making the economic ties between the United States and Poland even stronger through trading relationships, and that is a balanced and reciprocal one. We want reciprocal trade relationships. We don't have too many of them. I said before that the United States has made some of the worst trade deals ever in history. That's going to change. That's going to change. The friendship between our peoples dates all the way back to the American Revolution. It's a long time. I look forward to speaking more about these enduring bonds of faith and freedom when I address the entire Polish nation in just a little while. I hear we have a big crowd, Mr. President. It's going to be a big — I think they're showing up for you, not for me, right? We're going to have a big crowd. That's what the word is. So, President Duda, thank you again for welcoming Melania and myself to your beloved homeland. Together, we can make the partnership between our two nations stronger than ever before. Special people, special place, and it's an honor to be here. Thank you. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my back.